Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Quantum Break. I played through a little bit of the game, just tested it out, see if I wanted to record it, and I'm like, yeah, I'll record it. Uh, the first beginning of the part is a bit, uh, what do you call it, um, wordy? Like, there's a lot of talking going on. Yes, I want to start a new game. I tested out some of the powers, not all of them, of course, just a few here and there, like a little, uh, what is it, uh, um, can't fucking remember. Like, you can do little Tom fractures things and all kinds of cool shit. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Oh, come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Oh, Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Yep, so this is also has a TV tie-in. Kind of like uh, that other game, Defiance. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce, in the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. 
We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I miss that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay, enough joking. Come on, let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Yeah, sorry, not much talking. Like I said, this part is really talkative from the characters, and it's just, it's just idle chit-chat, but you know, maybe people wanna hear, maybe not, but it's cool. I have a lot to talk about, referring to the characters and the people who are playing them, and uh, you know, a little more in-depth back background stuff. Just something to talk about. Shit. You guys must have some budget. Now, uh, I said before that this reminds me of that horrible. Fantastic Four movie when they was all working in that lab to get that device to work so they could go to another planet or another dimension or some shit. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut <coughs> Excuse me. You always did drag me into these situations. Me drag you. One word, Utah. <laughs> all right. Touche. And from what I hear, you've attracted plenty of trouble without me these past few years. Well, apparently it's my forte. I don't know if he changed his voice for this character. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Okay, so this little stuff that you can find around, uh, this talks about uh, him and Paul. Jack and Paul were talking. He's like, hey, I'm coming home. You know, and all this stuff. Well, he wasn't coming home, but he wanted him to come back to for this reason. So, uh, if you want to read that, you can go ahead. I already read it. Just pause the video. Wow, this is actually long as hell. Uh, but since this is going on, uh, the character we're playing as is actually voiced it, voiced by Sean Ashmore. He's uh, a British, a British uh, actor. He's actually a I twin to, to there, Aaron. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics. He's been in uh, quite a few movies. You know, X Men, X Men Last Stand. Oh shoot! Sorry, I just flicked my microphone. And that's just some of the movies I've seen them in. But he's you know, he's pretty big. The following. Forward, now about this thing he's got here. 
That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty sure Jack gets that. But basically, inside that thing, that thing that's spinning around, that's a freaking black hole, man. Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so... See? Told you. Intense. Oh! What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay, I just had to back up some. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. No, I don't like that way. One. You know, I'm not I'm not the find out the hard way kind of person. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. And this can't be safe. What happens when- Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. No, this is probably like one of the coolest uh, scenes so far in the game. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, oh, <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you, you just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's, he's, he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. All right. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to talk about this time travel shit they got going on. Cause this is fucked. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. 